Welcome back to Eternal Darkness. At the end of completing the last chapter, or I guess after completing the last chapter, oh hey! Wasn't expecting you there. Um, the light has started coming in to the observatorium or whatever that place is. So that's where we're headed next. we have the crankshaft. Although there's multiple missing crankshafts and we only have one. Hopefully we can like take it back. Use it in one spot and then take it back. Hmm. So what's our ultimate goal? Where's, where's the light coming from? It's not coming from up there, right? That must be the, def the destination? But the light was coming through the floor, wasn't it? Because we saw that area down below where the light would be shot up. So it must be... I thought it would come up through here, but I guess it's coming up through here. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Let's just move some stuff and see what happens. Oh, I think the crankshaft just gets used automatically. I didn't even have to use it. It just gave me both crankshafts usable now. Before it was only one that was usable. Cool. Ah, I see. So we needed to hit here, and then this needs to hit the planet. The Gathering of Light. Oh, the light's not coming out of there, it goes there. And now we've unlocked a portal to hell. Hmm? Yeah, I would run away too. <laughs> A package wrapped in brown paper has been left inside the door. It is not addressed to anyone and appears to have been wrapped in a hurry. There might be something inside. Uh huh. So that's the final one, right? I needed all three spirits. Yeah, I've got all three. Mandarok, Zolotath, and Chaturga. With the power of those three runes, we should be able to defeat Ulioth. I'm trying to remember where the entrance to that place is. It's in the basement, I'm assuming? Oh yeah, it's right here. With the lid removed, some kind of well-like entranceway is revealed. A ladder leads down into the murky darkness. Was this Edward's route into the Guardian City? Oh. Yeah, that's just right next to the other entrance that's in the basement where the well is. Can I climb back up through the well entrance? Cannot climb this ladder because the shaft above has been sealed, perhaps by Maximilian Roybus, all those years ago. Yep. As the tome had suggested by Edward's and Maximilian's words, the city exists and is far more incredible than Alex had thought. Here are the ruins of Enga, the corpse city parasitized by the guardians of Ulioth. 
Nine great towers dwarf the surrounding buildings. It would appear these towers serve as some kind of focusing array, channeling great tides of energy into the city itself. Right, we blasted this place <laughs> when we last played as Edward. So it's not exactly the same as before, is it? It's covered in blood and rubble. Will my shield last me long enough to run through this stuff? Like, I just wonder if there's another way. I'm pretty sure I... The last time I encountered this yellow stuff, I think I tried to dispel it and it didn't work, right? If it's not dispel, then I mean, what else could it be? I'm just gonna run it. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, wait. Uh oh. Ooh, that's bad. Hmm. What level is it? One, two, oh, it's max level. Okay, it's a max level one. There's no point in even trying to cast it, though. The damage is going to interrupt my spell casting. Shit. Um. Not sure what to do. Magical attack. Sh I mean, shield. I already used it. Uh, hmm. Do I have enough time to cast like a low power shield? I did get it off, but it only gave me two bits because the third one already just got flung off. Uh, maybe with that I can cast a five-point rune? What? Wait, what the hell? Oh, that didn't work. Um... Actually, it doesn't interrupt me every single hit. I might be able to get it to spell magic off, maybe. I'm probably about to die. But let's try it. Let's do a max power. Hmm. No, actually, you know what I should do? I should, again, try to do a medium power shield. I feel like this is really not how you're supposed to do it. Oh, come on, cast it. I was in an animation, I guess. No, wait, what? Okay, well, I'm just dead. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, I just realized, it looks like there's a little bit of safety right before that door over here. Like right here, I think you could probably be safe there. So let me try running through. I'm assuming it's the same for the others. I'll take a refuge in one of them and then reshield. Yeah, that should work just fine. So, max level green. Yes. Ah, I'm gonna save it now. I guess you probably are supposed to use shield. Podium is heavily damaged, crumbling into rubble and dust. If it is to be used, it must somehow be restored to its former state. Oh, is that part of it? Probably need to put it together. 
Part of the broken pedestal, yep. Grab all the fragments, enchant them, put it on top. I'm just gonna go ahead and reshield myself too. These plinths look like the ones Pius had encountered in the Forbidden City, where he found the essences of the ancients. Oh, so I need to place all my three different ess essences. Stargate. So I probably have to go to these individual arrays, right? Oh, hello. It's a lot of them here. Well, we're going to be making the same one as before or something different. I'm going to have to run back just like before, aren't I? Oh no. I hate it. They took something tedious and made you do it again. Oh wait. Interesting. This is different. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a pit of... yep, yeah, pit of coals. Hmm. Do I have to reveal invisible? I don't think there's really anything else I could do. Maybe this will be like a test of all my powers, these different chambers. But... Reveal invisible with what color? The last time I used Reveal Invisible it, to get over the coal pit, it told me, like, what color to use. This one doesn't. Well, I'm assuming it's Ulioth, so... Reveal Invisible, I guess I'll do max level, green. Aha! Yeah, it's already pressed. And then are we gonna get shocked every single time we come out here? Am I gonna have to reshield myself every time? Oh god, I think I am. Okay, number one. Down. Eight more to go. Okay, is this the same as before? Item, area, creature, self. What am I trying to do? I wonder if I'm supposed to summon creature or something, you know, to get all the other ancients together. I felt like that was what I'm supposed to be doing, is getting all the other ancients to fight the one bad agent to bring the world back into balance, basically. Uh, in which case, I suppose this is... this should be creature. 
If that's not right, it'll be easy enough to fix. So, I mean, these are all pressed already, right? Yeah, so I don't need to mess with the levers at all. They're wagging their tails again. <laughs> Number three. Like we have a puzzle or something. Yeah, I think they really are just making you use all your different magical abilities. It looks like we need each creature to stand on these places. Attach the monolith as a metal plaque inscribed with a symbol that looks curiously like a trapper. Indeed. Now, it shows a blue trapper, so I'm assuming I'm supposed to do a blue trapper? Not the thing that's good against the blue trapper? I'm sorry, I'm just looking at the wall and noticing all the things in the wall. Especially that thing. Ominously staring at me. It's really creepy. Hope they don't break out. So, summon Trapper Blue. Tear arrows have off. What sucks is that I'm surely gonna have to run around, run around just to restore my mana. Oh, so they get trapped. So, red zombie. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to run around for that last one. When you summon a horror, it takes like all your mana. I'll see you in a few minutes. Here we go. Up with this floor. That looks dangerous. Oh, I can't save. It's not? Oh! Wait, it's not actually there? Oh, alright then, I'll just cast recover. I feel like half the times... Oh, I'm too far down, that's why. I feel like half the times that the worms show themselves, it's just a vision, and not actually them. So is that just gonna, like, happen every time I touch that stuff? I 
Ow. <laughs> um. So what am I supposed to do? Deep into that darkness. What the? <laughs> Is it really happening? That's like the message you see when you first start up the game. Still can't save it, right? Still can't. If I take a huge amount of sanity damage like that again, I think it'll hurt me. So it's it's purple. Purple's the neutral color, right? So there's nothing that's particularly good against it. So far they've been making me use all my magical abilities. Is there some other magical ability I could use for this? I mean, I could try to dispel, I suppose. Yeah, that did nothing. I don't understand what the puzzle is. What's the puzzle? Wait, what? What just happened? I just restored my sanity, walked for a second, and then it, like, teleported me back here? Oh. Uh, okay, so I just googled it. Apparently... The worm is alerted to your presence by touching this purple stuff? It called them vines. It doesn't really look like vines to me. Um, apparently you just need to go slowly. That's it. Really? It's terrible. This room is terrible. Number five. get to choose an alignment this time. Did we do that last time? Maybe we did last time. Uh, well, we're trying to go against Uliath, so green. That's yeah, we must have. You always have to choose an alignment when you cast a spell. Number six. They just teleport or something. Wait, what? Oh, they're invisible? How come they can suddenly just go invisible? Number seven. Those need to be teleported away too <laughs> with trappers. Fill the trapper dimension with junk, let's do it. It looks just like the thing I teleported, sorta. Of. Hmm. I'm gonna try it. So it's red, so we want blue. We do! <gasps> or... Wait, what? 
Maybe it just wasn't close enough. I mean, I definitely targeted it, so... It's gotta be possible. I guess you can target things that you can't teleport. Like, I can target it, actually. Huh. Um. Maybe just magical attack? Because I'm guessing I need to destroy these. Surely I do. Okay, straight magical attack. I probably don't have the mana to do it, though, do I? Eh, maybe. Top level. It's reds we want. Blue. Nope. Be right back. Wait, just one attack did it? Okay. Number eight. I think last time this is the one where we, where we had to pick the other kind of meaningful rune, the not power one, but yep, one of these. So the first one we have right now is a creature. <laughs> I've got the two unknown ones here too. Um, so assuming we're going... Wait, what? Oh, I think I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Well, it's fine. I can redo it anyway. Um, I think we're going to summon creature. So what exactly is summon creature? It's creature and what? Okay, I just looked it up. Uh, so for summon, it is... This one? Yeah, that's summon. So we already have creature. This is summon. This should be summon creature. Oh yeah, this room. The huge thingy in the middle. Oh, so it's just... I mean, it's just the same as the main room. Just use a shield and then dispel. Ninth and final one. Sounds like we got a pass. Yes! Ah, so we gotta do the bind thing, like before, right? Uh oh. So bind, max power, they're blue, so let's do green. And I may or may not have to target them, so I'll just target one. Then, we watch. And then, we cast again and hope we have enough mana. And then, we run around for a minute.
And then... We hope we have enough mana. I think we have to go through here, right? Let's make sure we're ready before we do. How are we looking? Mostly full health, mostly full stamina. Got a shield going. Okay. Before we proceed, would you like to save your current progress? Uh, no thanks. Ah, Miss Rovers, you're just in time. The summoning spell I began 2,000 years ago is finally complete. That's a lot of runes. You now have the honor of becoming the first morsel for my lord, Ulyam. An appetizer for the banquet your race shall provide. You forget what it means to be human, Pious. The human race will never go quietly into the darkness. For as long as you have spent summoning your lord, people have struggled against you. Now, thanks to their efforts, I have three of the Ancients' essences. Now, Pious, this is the end! <laughs> the end, indeed! Battle of the Ancients. Okay. I wish they were here in this room right now, though. Um, damage field would be good. Damage field would be very good. I think. Also, do I still have the shotgun? Okay, right, I'm trying to remember what weapons Alex has, so shotgun would be the only decent one. Yeah, I'll probably switch to that in a second. But yes, definitely damage field to begin with. To a max level, green. Try me! And let's enchant. Gladius or the shotgun? I guess the shotgun. Oh. Hmm. Oh. That didn't last long. Hmm. Oh wait, they have a shield, don't they? Actually, I don't think I'm taking down the shield with each shot, am I? Doesn't seem like it. I probably need to dispel. Alright, let's do a dispel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah. 
I need a shield. How are we doing on mana? Yeah, pretty good. I can definitely shield. It's interesting though, look at the color of that. That's oh wait, did it just dispel they just dispelled all of my shield, didn't Oh my god, you ass. But yeah, that's purple. But their god is Uliath, right? So why is that purple? I'm not sure. Anyway, I gotta wait till they start to come over this way. Good, and now I guess I'll just cast a spell. Ah, that did. That <laughs> did nothing. I'm not really sure what to do. If I keep shooting, will the shield go away? It makes them laugh. I'm tickling them, at least. It does make them laugh. It actually makes them stop for a second. Hmm. Okay, so shield is pointless. They just dispel it. Um. Shotgun doesn't work. Even when it's enchanted. It's gotta be a spell that I need to use then, right? So I can't dispel their magic. Damage field didn't do anything. Um, I guess magical attack? Maybe? They have a shield though. A <laughs> bind? <laughs> I doubt I could control them. Wait, what? <laughs> Why did you stop? All right. Uh, I'm gonna try magic attack. I'm gonna get him all the way over here to make sure I have time to cast it. Yeah, that didn't seem to do anything. Um, hmm. Try shooting the other body parts? I don't get it. It's very, very unfair that their shield is completely different from mine. Like, their shield seems to be impervious to everything, whereas mine, if I take any damage at all, it takes off some of the shield bits. Um, I'm sensing something very similar to the last boss fight that I did, where you gotta do the one specific thing at the one specific time where it doesn't work, so I'm just gonna Google it. And, much to nobody's surprise, you do have to do one specific thing to continue. Um, so at least for the first phase, I didn't look at the, the future ones, for the first phase it says you have to hit them with the enchanted gladius, and it reveals where the artifact is. Of course, why didn't I think of that? The one and only thing that works. So, let me enchant my gladius. Also learn something cool. If you cast magic pool, um, the alignment that you cast it with is just like recover where it determines what thing it recovers over time. So if you do magic pool, Uliath, or blue, then you actually recover mana over time, which I probably should do. But the only problem is they dispel anything I cast like instantly, so I'm gonna wait till I maybe could actually keep it for a while. Of 
course. Holy crap, that hurts a lot. Um, I need to heal, but they're casting a spell that's going to try to hurt me, so I need to dodge it first. Okay, dodged. I don't think I have time to get off a full heal, so... Let's just do... a medium one? There we go. Oh, I gotta be able to run at full speed. So yeah, I think what I should do... Should I try to cast Magic Pool? They're just going to dispel it. So I should do shield, shouldn't I? I want I, I want just like a little bit of a shield, just so I don't take any damage when I get the one swipe in. I know they're going to dispel it, but at least it should protect me for a second. So I'm just going to do the lowest level one. Okay, so I think that'll initiate the next phase. Ah. Gonna be gathering our allies. Oh, I'm actually in control. Oh. Wait, I can't access the menu? Or inventory or anything? Oh. Okay, cool. Oh, there's dispelled my stuff. You dick. Um, full on mana. I really want to cast magical pool health. Because I really need health. I can't be walking slow, it's too slow. again if it's just gonna knock you out. It's just gonna get dispelled again, so I'm just gonna heal normally. I don't know if there'll ever be a chance to cast Magical Pool. Got to enchant my Gladius. At least I think it has to be enchanted. I dodge? Run! Ah, oh, yes. Okay, that didn't actually hurt too bad that time. I think they just recoiled for a second. I'm doing damage. They can feel it. Okay, how are we looking? Full, pretty much full. Okay, I'm just gonna cast a brief um, shield. I know I could just put these on like the hotbar, but honestly, I think it's faster just to do it this way because sometimes I want higher powered ones, sometimes lower powered ones, etc., etc., and then I'd forget which thing on the hotbar they're they're actually assigned to. Wait, what am I doing again? Shield, right? So it doesn't matter what type, probably. that we got all these these echoes or spirits of all these other characters.
Making progress. Okay, yeah, so that really does not work if you don't uh, enchant your Gladius. No! You asshole! Ugh. And I think it has to be a top level Gladius enchant. Okay, I should heal now. Well, in just a second. I definitely do not want to have to do this whole fight over again, so... Let's be... just keep doing the usual thing, it's working. missing it. Oh. How we doing? Pretty good. Cast a low level shield. My sword needs to be enchanted. What did you just cast? Oh, damage field. Uh, we're still enchanted. I'm gonna heal. Cast a low level heal. And low level shield. Oh, now they're actually taking damage. Great. Well, maybe... High level shield, possibly? Can I get away with that? Anchor, heart, sand, 
Oh no, they're getting rid of it right now. Oh, they didn't get rid of it. Too far away, I guess. Oh, it's not enchanted anymore. Doesn't seem like it has to be enchanted, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Wait, what? Oh, it just dis they just dispelled all my stuff. You... Wait a minute, let me get this straight. So if I move even, like, an inch, my runes stop casting, but if you teleport away, they just auto-cast? Well, isn't that convenient? Low level shield? Seem pretty hurt there, buddy. Guess I'll enchant my sword again. I'll do a short enchant. Take that space jellyfish. This creature! It cannot be allowed to remain in this universe! Oh. Uh, bind it. Bind it. Am I supposed to remember the spell for a bind? Um... The, the guide I just looked up just said to use the protect rune and that's it? That's all you need? I mean, that's not a spell, but okay. It is finally over, my dear. The ancient's plans are finished. For now, at least, you have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. Your mother and father would have been proud of you, just as I am. I'm sorry it had to be like this, 
It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you. But there was so little time. And so much to do. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. As I gazed up at the ancient I had brought into this world to stop Pius, my mistake was made clear. This ancient could lay the world to ruin just as easily as Pius's would have. And yet, as quickly as it began, it ended. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of reality, to see those who dwell behind. I was once a fool. You've overcome the darkness that has prevailed for over two millennia. This accomplishment will begin a new era for humanity. Now, would you like to record this grand occasion in the pages of human history? Save and continue. Sure. I'm really disappointed that we never got to see that asshole detective from the very beginning of the game. I wanted to just like meet them again and cast summon horror maybe and just like smush them into smithereens and then call in their family and ask them to identify the body. You know, the pulpy mess on the ground. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that to their <laughs> wouldn't do that to their family. The family doesn't deserve that, but the detective does. Let's finish off by just going over my thoughts on Eternal Darkness. So overall, I found it to be a pretty fun and cheesy horror game, is, is basically what I thought if I had to sum it up. It's a bit cheesier than I expected it to be. Um, I did expect it to be sort of overrated. Um, you know, I've seen this on many lists of some of the best survival horror games ever made, and I'm sure it was at the time it was released in 2002, but I think just because games are such a relatively new medium that anything that's considered really good in 2002 is there's not guaranteed but there's a pretty good chance it's not gonna be as good as you remember it being which i think is the case here because it, it's not an amazing game by any means it's, it's very cheesy and it's got a lot of flaws but despite that i still had a really fun time with it so let's talk about a couple of the big things that I had problems with in Eternal Darkness, and then I'll close out with the one big thing that I really liked about it. So a couple things that I didn't like. There's a lot of smaller details that I could talk about, but I think the big issues that I had with it, uh, one would be tedium. The best example of that is probably the ruins. When you're playing as Edward near the end, and you had those three like scribing towers that you had to get to, and then every time you teleported back from the tower, you were put into that main huge hallway, and then you had to run all the way back to the teleportation room. And Edward didn't have great stamina, so you couldn't even sprint the entire way. Had to huff and puff or just walk half of the way back. Like, that was already, that was pretty tedious. But then the real kicker is when you play as Alex and you go to the same place and you have to do literally the same thing again in terms of going to the the nine scribing towers teleporting back and having to run through the main chamber but it's even worse because they put in that damage field in the entire room so before you go back in there you have to make sure you have enough shield or recast shield before you run through thankfully i think alex has a little bit better stamina than edward not unlimited but pretty good still it's just even more obnoxious and i think to make it even worse too some of the challenges that they put in those rooms because like, each of the room when you teleport from the scribing tower to this room, and then you make your way back to another scribing tower, those, like, mini challenges that you, they put you into, some of those are just the most boring, unimaginative things. One of them was literally just do the bind creature thing again to make all the horrors fight, which we already did. They just did it again, except there's three horrors, so you have to bind two of them and not just one. 
which means you have to run around to get your mana back probably. Uh, another one was just literally just a damage field on the ground that you need a shield to run through and then you have to dispel magic on a thing that's blocking the exit, which is exactly what we just did in the main hallway of the same place, the ruins. It's just... Uh, yeah, that was tedious. Um, the other major problem I had with it is really mostly with the boss fights, although I guess you could kind of pick out a few just puzzle points where you had to do a similar thing, but with uh, the two big boss fights, they really expect you to do just the one thing. Out of all the spell combinations you can have, all the different runes, and how they even mentioned you can try to make your own spells out of those runes with your own unique combinations, you know, they give you this, this appearance of all this choice. And you have the gladius to choose from, or the pistol, or the shotgun, or I guess you could punch. <laughs> um, but they expect you to use just the one thing um, on that guardian when we were playing as the reporter. I forgot their name, Peter Jacob, maybe? You had to use magical attack. That was it. Magical attack was the only thing you could use against it. Out of all your spells, it was the only thing that had any effect, is magical attack. And then on the final boss, you have to use your gladius to reveal the location of the rune. Or the, the whatever thing. Reveal the location of the Ulioth symbol. <laughs> I don't know what that actually was. You have to use your gladius. Can't use your shotgun, can't use magical attack, can't use damage field, nothing. Nope, it's gotta be your gladius, and it has to be enchanted. It's like, okay. All this apparent choice, but you don't really have any choice at all. The big thing that I really liked about Eternal Darkness, and probably the thing that kept me playing the most, is the just the overall structure of being able to play as these different characters. So I was expecting just to play as Alex through the whole thing. I was really surprised when we kept getting these chapter pages from the tome that kept taking me back to these mini-stories. I kept wondering, like, okay, when are we going to get to play as Alex? And then I realized, oh wait, this is, this is the game. Most of the game is actually played in these mini-stories, in these chapters. Going back to all sorts of different locations and people speaking different languages and different time periods. That was really cool. I like it because, you know, part of the the story is about how this tome and this darkness and evil has been kind of building up for, uh, I think it was thousands of years, right? So it's this thing that's been happening for so long. And uh, to be able to actually see their individual stories these people that are so long in the past that they're long since dead or turned into spirits, I guess, in this case. Um, and being able to see how their lives were influenced by the Tome of Eternal Darkness and all these ancients. And getting to see these totally different locations and they all have their own, like, unique weapons and stuff. Uh, I thought that was really cool. And then how the, the fact that what happens in the stories actually gets, like, absorbed into the Tome and inside of Alex. So whatever abilities they gain, whatever magic they gain, Alex can use in the present. Um, and even some knowledge, like even the knowledge is transferred through the tome to Alex. Like, after playing Roberto, I gained the ability for Alex to survey the area. So it's just all this, this buildup of these different people in totally different time periods, kind of all funneling into this one moment with Alex. All this knowledge getting together and all these, all these symbols of the ancients that I'm gathering to finally fight this evil at the very end building up to this climax. I thought that was a really cool structure, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so that has been Eternal Darkness. Uh, definitely very flawed, but still pretty fun and interesting game. I hope you enjoyed watching me play through it, and thanks for watching.